there's money giving for uh, charity. Although economy is doing not too bad at the moment, the number of people donating money for good causes could always be bigger. That's the issue of uh, the project by inter interaction design students. And we have Mike Ramos here to tell us more. Hi, do you talk about your donation? Well, my name is Mike Ramos. I worked uh, on this project together with my colleagues Margarita and Jan from Interaction Design Program. And uh, we have been faced uh, with a challenge from the Good Deed Foundation. And they, the challenge was to create a solution to how can we invite more donors, more donors for Amazon and Data website. Amazon and Data website is a portal where people can find causes they like, like for example, children, uh, family, healthcare, animals, nature, etc. and uh, place a donation. There are many kinds uh, and different topics uh, to donate for. And uh, based on the current uh, Amazon and Data website data statistics, uh, we found that women donate about three times more than men of the same age. So then we decided to focus on this tougher target group, like men uh, who don't donate uh, frequently or sometimes none at all. Then we decided to investigate uh, and talk to these guys. Uh, what, they, how, what they think about it, how they feel when they place a donation, uh, what are the concerns, pain points, etc. <laughs> And then we mapped out all the issues, uh, pain points, uh, and started to look if we could find some correlation. And one uh, problem kind of popped out. Uh, how to invite, uh, actually we asked them the same question. Do you talk about your donation? Do you invite other people? And then majority of them said no. And then there are some actually, some of them that said they are active uh, on charity calls, etc. Some of them not so active. But the answer was still the same, and we asked ourselves why. And then investigating, uh, we found that the problem is sort of a taboo that kind of helps uh, happens uh, in Estonia. Like talking about donation is considered bragging, so they don't want to be perceived as bragging, they don't want to be perceived as good people. And uh, besides of that, uh, there are also the problem of lack of trust towards umbrella organizations such as Good Deed Foundation, uh, lack of information about uh, causes and charities on conventional media, and churn, which is related to technical issues and uh, usability on the website. So we placed uh, all of these issues on the social ecological model, so we could see how far and uh, how close this problem is to the individual, or perhaps uh, at an interpersonal level, social uh, or public uh, policies. And then uh, also to see how much of these problems overlap on top of each other. And then realize, uh, we focus on the taboo, and then realize that uh, we need two approaches to cover uh, this issue. Like it, it sits mostly on the individual interpersonal level, but also affects uh, the community level, which means uh, people a little bit far from you, people from the third level social uh, sphere, for example, friends of a friend, etc., or people you don't even know. And the first approach uh, is uh, public awareness. So it's a consideration about using uh, public figures, perhaps uh, famous people, people that uh, I can relate, people that I can trust, speaking and talking about this issue. Is it okay to talk about your donation? And it is okay uh, to help and also invite others. This is very important and this is uh, also consider it for a school and education. So the upbringing uh, will be done in a way that children will know that uh, from early days that uh, talking about donation is also help. And the second approach was uh, social gamification inside the uh, uh, This is the current website. And uh, this is our proposed solution. It's not about uh, 
redesigning the website or the visuals, we are considering, we are concerned about the behavior that happens inside when you are performing a donation. And then we wanted to change the behavior. Nowadays, most of the donations inside, inside Amazon Data is anonymous. Doesn't matter how much money you donate, uh, you go there, everyone says anonymous, and they don't show their faces and their names. Perhaps they don't want uh, this data to be associated, and that they don't want to brag as well. So we used gamification and social proof as a motivation to change that behavior, uh, for, uh, to provide an ability uh, components to endorse and share each of the causes and as a triggers for these behaviors, uh, prompts uh, within the website uh, to actually for them to do more steps and continue helping. So each of the topics or themes for the causes have been gamified, so there's level one, two, three, etc. to have a feeling of progression and uh, this is one of the components that sits uh, in a cause page. So after the person places a donation, the sites invite uh, the user to also endorse the calls and share about the calls. So they're not sharing how much you have donated or, or what kind of help to give, but they're sharing the calls that you are actually in love with, like perhaps you have uh, to help children and families, and then uh, you can be recognized in this book uh, with that. And there are some small considerations, for example, this copy, under the call to action button, like four friends have endorsed this cause, is there to reduce the feeling of risk or commitment with something that is unknown. So four friends of mine have uh, endorsed this cause, so I feel safe to also do the same. It's okay to do that, therefore I can uh, endorse this cause as well. And uh, also another component is the ambassadors component. Here it shows everyone, uh, like people who are not my friends, people who are my friends, if I'm logged in uh, with Facebook, for example, you know, if you were not yet endorsing this cause, and the person pushes the button, show my name, uh, it shows the name, it goes to the top uh, of the list, and, uh, and it will appear there together with everyone. So we are shifting this uh, social uh, issue of having anonymous donations to public donations. So the social norm nowadays in Amastana and Data is always anonymous. Everyone does anonymous, so I'll do the same. Now everyone does public donations, and I will do the same. So that's where uh, the two approaches sits. Social gamification for the individual and community level for public awareness. And the outcome for uh, Amastana and Data website is a set of components, uh, concept components, to inspire the design of the website, not just to be functional, but the uh, website to be designed in a way that uh, changes the current behavior from just doing donation and walking away from the website to a behavior that uh, users will donate and see that they can actually help more by simply, uh, simply uh, having themselves visible in their calls page. So this will create a safe environment for other people to do the same. And these people will be the actually uh, early adopters of this idea. So they are the current donors, not people who are not donating, not these guys that were talking at the beginning, but uh, the current donors are the early adopters, and through the time, uh, they will become more visible, and people who are not even talking about it will feel comfort comfortable uh, of doing so. So shifts not taboo into it's okay to help and talk about it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, questions, comments, yes? Uh, I assume you're collaborating with the people in the data. Are uh, you in touch with the developers <coughs> and are they willing to implement these changes and suggestions? Or is it just uh, theoretical? The question was, that is that, can you sense that the client is willing to implement your proposals? I think at, uh, at some extent, the way we worked was that uh, we had some touch points with the client and they actually uh, were very positive about our concept. And then how much we work together with them uh, was concerning the data because they have a huge amount of the statistics data from the, from the website. Like uh, how much of each person from different target groups does donation, how much they donate. Like that's why uh, they know that women uh, donate three times more. Uh, but then we needed to find why. So not specifically the developers. I think the developers uh, 
from as far as I know, uh, is kind of a, an agency who does the development of the website for understanding data. So the team from Good Data Foundation have to go in contact with them and say, hey, we need these features in, etc., etc. Maybe even from the earlier state, state and did you have any chance to test your solution with these uh, users? Yes, uh, the test part was quite long, so that's why I took away from the presentation, but uh, we tested both uh, the approaches, like for example, the social awareness one and uh, the website uh, components. And for the social awareness, uh, one outcome when actually showing prototypes to people is that they didn't realize before uh, that uh, talking that this question, do you talk about your donation? They haven't asked themselves this and they said that, uh, well, I don't talk about donation because I don't want to see people actually, people see me as bragging or something like this. Like they said this and uh, when they realized the question, they started to think, well, Maybe it's not about break, maybe it's about helping, inviting more people, etc. So that's the shift uh, idea came from. And then the website we also tested the components and uh, we took away, uh, we tested and from the learners, we took away uh, the money from the, the website. Perhaps uh, nowadays, if you go to Armasani Data, you can see how much money each person had donated, like 15 euro, 100, etc. And with their names there. So maybe that's one of the strong reasons they don't want to have their names associated with the donation. But we took away the money, just show your name and your picture, if there is, it can come from Facebook perhaps, and then uh, it creates a better uh, comfort zone for them. So they felt comfortable of just, okay, I'm just endorsing the cause and showing that I'm passionate about kids' cause, for example, and then just showing that, hey, I support together with these 83 people. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. As we all know, Estonia does not have 